Zap, 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 lightning, zap, zap, lightning, lightning, fader. Hello, it's me, the Lego Dude, and in today's video, I'll be talking about the Lego Star Wars Geonosis Arena, which is rumored to be coming out in summer of 2022. This Geonosis Arena is said to have 4,671 pieces, be numbered 75341, and cost $530. One thing I have to say about 75341 is even though it wasn't in the summer list of Lego Star Wars sets, I think that when it was rumored to be 75341, it was actually rumored to be 75331, because 75331 will also cost $530, and I don't think they would release two $530 sets in one wave. I think it's pretty safe to assume with the amount of pieces this set has that it will be 18 plus. I'm not sure if it will be UCS or MBS though, MBS meaning Master Builder Series. A UCS set is pretty much just a display set and a Master Builder Series set is like a ginormous play set slash display set. I'm more leaning towards this set being a Master Builder Series set though because it's rumored to have 9 minifigures and UCS sets only usually have 2 or 3 minifigures. The 9 minifigures rumored to be in this set are Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Padme Amidala, Count Dooku, Mace Windu, Jango Fett, Young Boba Fett, a Geonosian B1 battle droid, and a B2 super battle droid. I would also be hoping that the Geonosis Arena's rumor is true, that there would be the three beasts in the Geonosian Arena, which are the Akle, which is the weird spider looking one, the Nexu, which is the lizard looking beast, and also the Weak, which is the Wynoswis looking one. Now I'm going to talk about why I think this rumor has some credibility. At the beginning of 2022 in January, they're going to release a Clone Troopers minifigure accessory pack based off episode 2, but what doesn't make sense is it's an accessory pack, but there's no other episode 2 sets available for it to be an accessory too. It's there for the UCS gunship, but it's not supposed to be minifigure scale, so it doesn't really count. Which is why I theorize that there will be a wave of sets based off episode 2 in the summer of 2022. And because of this, I think the Geonosis Arena might fit white in, and since it's going to be very big, a lot of clone troopers would fit in there. I'm also hoping that maybe, possibly, a Geonosis minifigure pack could be released in summer of 2022. And if they release a Geonosian minifigure pack, then say you bought 10 of them, then you could have 3 for each, and that would mean 30 Geonosians to go in your Geonosian Arena, and then if you bought like 10 clone trooper minifigure packs, then you would have 30 clone troopers also to go in your Geonosian Arena, making for a big and exciting battle, or if you don't want to do that, then it would just make a good display piece of a big Geonosis Arena battle. Well, that's everything I had to cover about this rumor in today's video. Leave a comment in the comment section down below on your opinion on how likely this is and what minifigures and what type of build you would want if it actually happens. Remember to subscribe and leave a like and enter my LEGO giveaway. Bye. Created by the LEGO Dude. Produced by the LEGO Dude. Directed by the LEGO Dude. Paid for by the LEGO Dude. Edited by the Lego Dude. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like.